Yeah, maybe not recommended for those that have uh, height fears. Okay, so I just uh, came from a little photo shoot on one of these hills and I photographed what is uh, supposed to be the oldest church in Romania. We have it right here, Densush, the church of Densush from the 13th century, you know, 1200 something, no one knows exactly. But uh, yeah, this is supposed to be the oldest church in the territory of Romania. So yeah, let's go a little bit in the courtyard. There's a little cemetery there as well and uh, see what we have. Okay, so here we have it. This is the little courtyard. Got a little painting right there. Let me get a little closer. Yeah, it looks like it's a Mary with Jesus and another painting here. Maybe Saint Nicholas because this church is also called uh, the Church of uh, Saint Nicholas. So. Yeah, it looks like it's lit up at night. Pretty cool. This is the cemetery that I was talking about. Yeah, 12 something. I don't think uh, no one knows exactly, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a different type of church, you know. It's a it's a unique architecture, no doubt. Very, very different architecture than uh, what uh, we're used to when we see an Orthodox church. You know, I don't think it's open. I walked around and around. Uh, the door was locked, so uh, too bad I can get a glance inside. You know, I'm not sure if it has any paintings or not, but uh, yeah, it's just remarkable. Remarkable to see this type of architecture located here in the heart of Romania. Let me see again. I've been here for a little bit, but uh, yeah, it looks like there's no one whatsoever. So yeah, this is uh, the main entrance. If you do want to come here, you kind of have to go to Hatsik, which is the closest uh, city, and then from there, uh, you know, uh, I kind of use Google Maps because there's like uh, very, very few indicators, you know, panels that tell you. Uh, where to where to go yeah it's in, it's in the middle of nowhere guys so it's a little village and a church and a few houses and that's pretty much it okay so although i got some decent uh, photos on my previous trip on one of those hills i'm still looking for some decent spots and i'm thinking i gotta go in one of these uh side Gardens, whatever they may be. I'm not sure exactly and if you search long enough You'll find a good point. You know this region right here guys is packed with hills You know the mountains are very very close But right now I think I found a decent decent spot to get a little bit of the village and also of the church and also of the beautiful snow-capped mountains in the back check it out Beautiful, beautiful. And guys, this was an impromptu trip. Nothing planned whatsoever. We just headed out and uh, kind of went with the flow. So I didn't do much research regarding panorama points. And actually, I don't believe there are that many places online where you can find great panorama points for, well, Ben Sush. Right here, this is the name of the town and you head that way but either way it was a great trip and it's great to find places and discover on your own at times you know not read certain places and not find them and get frustrated though if you go with the flow everything should be fine in the end okay so the third destination of the day is colts fortress colts in romania means fang 
and uh, it's also known as the Carpathian Fortress. You know, uh, just read here on a billboard that uh, you know it was an inspiration for Jules Verne. If you guys know who Jules Verne is, wrote a whole bunch of stories. But either way, it was an inspiration for the novel the castle in the Carpathians, the fortress of the Carpathians or something along those lines but the fortress is right there at this point they're just some ruins and you can see pretty nice uh, the mountains from all the way there so uh, let's see we got some snow from the other day so there's a little bit of hiking to do as you can tell you got to go through the whole forest in order to get up there but it's quite pleasant, it's uh, quiet, you hear a few birds here and there, but that's pretty much it. So we have made it to the final destination. This is the Parung Mountains of the Carpathian Mountains, a subdivision of them, and this is Colts Fortress, Fang Fortress, most likely because it looks like a fang if you look from there all the way here just sticks out like a white fang either way it's beautiful a little bit cloudy right now but it's the mountains what can you expect So this is the fortress itself, as you can tell there's some pretty big uh, walls here. Let's do a little climb here, oh, maybe not the greatest idea with the camera in hand. So after a little bit more climbing you can get to see the face, the front face of the Fang fortress. No it's not Chinese Fang, it's just the Fang. A wolf fang, or whatever you want to call it. And check out the road. Yeah, maybe not recommended for those that have uh, height fears, but it's not bad. It's beautiful. Around eight meters, the tower, probably nine. Not sure, but it looks pretty good. Not renovated. Uh, maybe a little bit right there. Looks like there's some plaster or some sort of uh, support, but that's pretty much it. And more views from the fortress. Here's the little town, I'm not sure exactly what the name is, and the reservoir lake there. Pretty sure it's man-made. And again, around 45 minutes and uh, you're all the way up here, and that was uh, with snow, guys. So if you come in a different season, it's completely different. And you can also walk on the walls. Check it out. You gotta be careful a little bit, but uh, it's pretty safe. You know, you can tell uh, other folks have been around these walls. And the now standing view of the Parung Carpathian Mountains with the main tower of the fortress. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So guys, that was it uh, from today's uh, impromptu trip. Ending this day with a beautiful view of the Carpathians. Check it out, it's almost sunset time. We're probably gonna go ahead and have some supper and that's pretty much it. Until next time, gratitude should be the only attitude. Peace.